it's a weird week. I'm an angel medium. These are angel messages. I also use cards, obviously. And I'm going to let you know what the angels want you to know, how things are affecting you, and what you need to do about it. So buckle up because, <laughs> wow, there's a lot to talk about. First and foremost, I'm going to be coming out with some other content around themes that might be affecting a lot of you at this time. So that is to come. Keep an eye on that. Uh, but also we have the 1010 Energy Portal coming up. That's October 10th. And this year, this is going to be hitting themes of abundance, prosperity, your karmic loop, what's happening in other timelines, how that's affecting you. All of that's coming up. Now, it's mostly 1010 Energy Portals are known for being big endings. It sort of builds up so you, you're crushing away it's a destruction period so it's pushing away everything that doesn't serve you clearing the ground so that you can build again and that's where the 11 11 energy portal comes in and you start to manifest and you build and then 12 12 brings everything to a solid completion you see the whole picture you see what i'm getting at so that's coming up now um Generally speaking, 1010 energy portals, those affect the collective in a big way. So we're not just going to be seeing things in our personal lives. We're going to be seeing things come crashing down out in the collective. And I'm talking crazy, crazy things that we don't have context for. We've never seen anything like that. Now, this could be natural disasters. This is something that happens around these types of aspects that are going on this week, but also just all the shifting, everything that's been occurring, the truth is coming out. We're no longer tolerating the delusion. We're not going to be put into a deep sleep so that we're in denial about what's really going on. So that's going to be up in our faces this week, but that didn't have anything to do with these cards. <laughs> so I pulled them. Wow. Um, yeah. So before I get into this, I just want to give you an update. If you want an angelic reading with me, you can go to angelsouls444.com to book a standard reading. Now, you can ask for a 1010 energy portal reading, how that's going to affect you, what's going to be ending for you, where do you need a fresh start. It's also where you haven't learned your lesson. Okay, so you can get a reading on that if you want. <laughs> or you can just get a general angelic message. You can ask about love. I know I've become like the scary beast who's like, no, love, bah humbug. Hold on for these cards. Just hang on. Okay. But you can get a love reading, get a career reading. But my specialties, if I have one, would be Life's Path, Akashic Records. I do Akashic Records readings with Archangel Metatron. And even fertility readings. Please understand though, if you're going to get a fertility reading, I am not a doctor. This is just from a spiritual aspect, and it's for entertainment purposes. I'm going to have to say that, right? It's for entertainment purposes. So we can do an energy read on that, though, to help you um, around issues that you might be experiencing. So there's a lot. Okay, I'm going to be coming out with lots more content on themes that might be affecting you right now. I want to give that a lot of time and care. So I'm putting my notes together on that. And I will start doing lives. Okay, Let, let's just start going live here. And so I can connect with you guys and we can talk about some of these things. Please be patient with me. October is already busy and I'm recording this on September 30th. So I don't know if you're experiencing that too, but I think a lot of us are going to be getting that. We're going to be getting this sort of bombardment <laughs> it just kind of comes at us all at once but it's a nice thing it might be a little stressful at first but um it's leading to something quite nice okay did i mention live readings i can do live readings as well email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com if you want one of those just please keep in mind when you email me just to help the process move smoothly let me know how much time you're looking for what time zone are you in and give me some rough ideas of dates and times that tend to work for you because even if i didn't technically have a spot open i often shuffle things around so that i can get you in so if you're say on the west coast and you don't get off until eight o'clock my time just let me know we'll work on it okay so there's all of that huh, out of the way here's the deal y'all here's the deal 
We have time left. Oh, look at me. I'm like, I think I needed a nap before I even did this reading. But we have timelines. Okay, so we're talking Akashic Records. These different, they're calling them variants of each of us, right? Existing in these other stories. We're seeing some crossover. They're just calling it crossover. So I don't think that this is full-on intersecting timelines. I think this is sort of that energy overlay that I talk about all the time where we're still connected to something we didn't resolve in another timeline. And so a lot of that is going to be coming up to the surface. This is a huge theme right now. And this is occurring towards the end of this week as we get to like October 2nd, October 3rd. Now these are timeless. So even if you are watching this beyond those dates, all good. There's something in this reading for you. So something is going to be coming up to the surface that you know you have not resolved. And it's, for some of you, going to be around love. I'll get to them, I promise. But I want to talk about this channel part of it first. Some of those energy overlays are really going to be becoming obvious. It's going to be sort of, I can't deny this anymore. And you also can't make any progress whatsoever until you address some of these things. All right? Now, for some of you, it's deep, deep wounding from a spiritual aspect. So I'm going to talk about that spiritual wounding in another video. It's too much to cover here. It might be a long video. So again, keep an eye out for that. Now, let's get to the cards. The first card that I pulled out is romance, which I thought was kind of funny. I was like, well, you know, because out in the collective, not everybody's going to be looking for romance or <laughs> whatever. Uh, this could be maybe falling in love with another person, as we will see. But this could be, and feels like, very much for everybody, falling in love with life. Falling in love with life. Finding something that lights you up. That gets you excited to be alive. So if you are in a low place, obviously always reach out to you know professionals in your area for help. This is not a replacement for therapy. And be discerning about your therapist. It's another thing I always talk about. There are a lot of bad people who get through in that system. So if you're not comfortable with the therapist, move on to another one. But spiritually speaking, this is going to be something where maybe you understand the root cause of some of your pain and your perceptions. And that's it. You start to understand your own programming and the story behind that and how it came to be. You start to understand the wiring of your brain and how that came to be. And there's something incredibly freeing in that. There's something that gets released. Now, for some of you, if you have had the divine feminine wounding, and this isn't specific just to women. Anybody, we all have feminine and masculine energy within us. So if you've had that part of you wounded for a lot of uh people who identify as male, that masculine pressure could be to shut down your emotions and that emotions and being emotional is weak. For the feminine, this could be no, they're saying no resolve, just no resolve because uh, emotions, again, being seen as weak, not getting any recognition for the power behind it. And so there's confusion, there is doubt, there is beating ourselves up because we're upset or beating ourselves up because we fell in love. How many of you have experienced that? You've fallen in love with somebody and they're like, whoa, 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 I'm not sure what I want and like grow up, okay? If you don't know what you're... Hi, welcome to my channel. This is who I am. Tell them to grow up, you know? You don't, you don't need that in your life. So if you've had some wounding around the heart space, this is going to hit for a lot of people. Remember, this is Archangel Raphael energy. It's also Archangel Shamuel. So we have the heart chakra, and we associate that, like I said, with Archangel Raphael in the color green. And then there's the higher heart, and that's your connection to divine love. And that gets activated by Archangel Shamuel. It's one way of doing it. There are lots of different spiritual practices that allow us to open up and to reconnect with divine energy and divine love. But uh, if you've had some heart wounding, Whatever it is that you've experienced, you find the answer. 
you find the answer uh, it's just going to come to you and for some of you it's a jolt <laughs> it's just i i now see what i'm worth now for a lot of people this could be waking up from the dynamic that i maybe harp on maybe we're there maybe i'm to the point that we can call it that but it's such an important dynamic where darkness puts a spell over people and in this third dimensional ego consciousness realm, we would refer to that as narcissism. Now, I use that as a very broad term. I probably get the little shame, shame, you shouldn't do that, or, oh, that's so vapid to just constantly call it that. Um, I find that it's pretty, maybe not, in every, it's pretty accurate in most situations, maybe not all, but it catches a lot of what I'm talking about here by just putting that term out there. So the darkness working through many others, to put us under a spell that you're not worth anything. These, these can be subtleties. Let's let's go through a few of these because I think this is important. And we'll get back to the cards here. Um, signs that you are dealing with someone who has darkness working through them, negating your experiences. I've had a therapist do this. You might say, oh, I had this thing happen and this was the result. That didn't happen for me. No, no, that didn't happen for me. I got mine right away or I took care of that right away or whatever. They responded to me right away. It's not always overt and in your face. Another phrase, I find it very hard to believe, dot, dot, dot. Are you sure that's what, how do you know that's what their intentions were? Now, if you are high priestess energy, you are that divine feminine intuitive, you are the oracle, you are the healer, doesn't it extra tick you off when people say those things to you? Because you know. What's more, if you are carrying that energy, and again, it doesn't matter what type of body you're in, everyone can carry this high priestess energy, this psychic energy. Uh, when you know you know, and someone's trying to make you doubt yourself, a lot of times you are the ones who have been wounded the most. And we'll talk about that in another video to some great length and what we can do about that. It can be easy then to take what somebody else has to say as that constructive criticism that we need to change something about ourselves. But it's the darkness working through others to put a spell on you, to make you feel less than. Let's talk about control. If someone says, we're gonna do this. No, nope, no, nope, now we're gonna do this. Okay, now we're gonna do this. You gotta pay attention to that, all right? Or you're not allowed to go anywhere without me. Or you went out last weekend, you didn't tell me because it had nothing to do with you and you weren't invited, <laughs> right? <laughs> or, I mean, I could get to here all day with examples, right? So these slight little digs to chip away at our energy field. And yes, this can make a little divot in the energy field. And that's something I like to talk about in personal readings as well. I love to do an energy read and I love when people are open to it. I don't have people come in as clients who are always open to this stuff, which is weird. Because <laughs> why, why would you pay the money? Why would you do that to yourself? Like if you don't believe in this stuff, you know? Um, but yeah, when someone's open to an energy read and they're not being pretentious and they don't, they're not full of themselves. Yes, there's spiritual narcissism. It's prevalent. Uh, it, you know, when I don't have that, it's quite nice to read and it's always a clear read as well. So that's another thing to consider if you want to see kind of what's going on in your energy field. But this is the return of the priestess. Comment down below what that just did for you. Let me say it again. This is the return of the priestess. It's being intuitive without apologies. It's being psychic without having to make excuses being spiritual without having to hide. We're not being persecuted anymore. And this is a time 
for us to regain a lot of the energy that has been taken away from us through persecution. That goes into other timelines. I know it's not just Salem. I swear, comment down below where you about to be like, yeah, I was a witch in Salem. Remember, we can be observers as well of timelines. So when you cross over, this gets into a big conversation, but my understanding of the information that's come through me, when we cross over there, it's different for everybody. There's a different process that happens for everybody. But if you tend to be a more spiritual person and you're sitting here listening to this right now, chances are pretty good. You, you did a little hangout on the other side to regroup and to plan. And then you can sit and you can be an observer of not just your timelines, but any timeline that's open to being observed, especially ones that you might have some involvement in. Because if you're going to reincarnate and let's say you're going to come in with another person, you might kind of observe what's been happening for them and how the two of you with this soul, this part of your soul coming into another timeline, how that might work out for both of you. Okay, if that makes any sense. Um, there's also being so em empathetic that you hear a story and it embodies you. <laughs> it just takes you over. And now you almost think that that was you. That was you. Not always. So what's the difference? How do you know? This gets into a past life talk. Again, that could be a whole other video. Or we could talk about it in a reading if you are getting one. Um, feel free to bring that up too. It could be, you know, a past life imprint, something that hasn't been resolved, yes, playing out in this timeline as well. Or it can just, like I said, you've absorbed someone else's story and, and you take it on so much that you absolutely believe that you were there. The difference is when you were there, there is this sense of reality. I remember growing up, I think it was in junior high. I think it was in junior high or high school, something like that. And the teacher asked us to write down something nobody knows about you. It was going to be anonymous. Uh, you don't have to sign your name to it, but they were going to read it out to the class. First thing that came to my mind was I was alive in the medieval times. And I was, you know, I was in such denial about being open like that's not i didn't want to be the spiritual weirdo you know <laughs> but um i felt so compelled to write that down because it wasn't just oh i'm interested in it it's that feels like it's something missing that i can't access anymore it's a part of me that's missing and exists elsewhere it's that kind of familiarity i also have that with 16th century England. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. So, sorry, back to the cards. We had the romance card and then we have intention. So be very careful with how you are seeing your intentions, what you're doing with your intentions at this time. When we say the high priestess energy is back, it's like getting your powers back, but you don't remember, you're a little clunky with them. You don't remember what to do with them. And now, <laughs> now you're setting everything off because you don't have things aimed in a good and proper way. Also, you could have that energy ricochet back to you if you have bad intentions. So be careful with that. And we need to focus. And I'm going to go right into the next card. We need to focus on our healing. Now, if you're about to write in the comments, Michelle, you're going to talk about the persecution wound. The witch's wound? Yes, I am. Not today. Not today. Like I said, that's a long conversation. I will gather my thoughts and my notes on that because I could talk on that forever. <laughs> I really could. As you see, there's a lot of messages that come through. So we need to be focused on this healing. And this isn't about finding a point of victimhood and then being self-indulgent around that and lowering your frequency and trying to make a beautiful story out of it. We don't have time for the BS. We don't have time for the BS. We can't make a romantic story out of this, okay? You need to be focused on restoring your heart because you're needed here. We need you to come back. And I'm going through this process myself. It may not be fun, but it's necessary, 
All right. And part of that healing, we have Ace of Raphael here. And Raphael, again, all about the heart, all about the heart healing. There's a theme here. Have you noticed? And this is falling in love, potentially. This with the romance card and the healing. We're finding out what real love is. And this says a positive new emotional experience. And that, I think, really describes what's up and coming here. Fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. Again, it's being in tune with the voice of your heart. So that is a lot of what's going on this week. It could be a very pivotal time. And remember, time is not actually linear, especially when it comes to angels. They don't see it that way. <laughs> they bring these messages through because this is how we function. Now, I will be doing dailies. Every once in a while, I take a break from the dailies because it's a lot to post every day. It just is. Okay. So uh, <laughs> I, I take a break, but I will be getting dailies up. I'm going to be experimenting with lots of different long form content, short form content, and just seeing where we're at. You know, what are we energetically getting attracted to? What's the most helpful? So again, angelsouls444.com. If you want to book a reading uh, or work with me, you can do a live session as well. For live sessions, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. That's not a regular offering. It's just here and there. So that's why that is like that. Have a good week. Comment down below. If you are not subscribed, thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you next time. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.